Welcome to Elementary Statistics. In this PowerPoint, we'll go through some of the important notions in Chapters 1 and Chapter 2 of your textbooks. Starting off with some of the definitions and key terms for a statistics class. The goal behind statistics is to understand data and analyze it and be able to make inferences about a population. And to do that, we collect the data and we calculate the probabilities and we analyze the probabilities. We can break statistics into two categories, descriptive statistics, which is the act of organizing and summarizing the data, making graphs, and inferential statistics, where we use probabilities to measure the confidence um, of a conclusion or of an interpretation that we make about a set of data, which is about a population. And we'll also use the math of probability. We only cover a small chapter of probability in this class, but it is a type of math, you can take a whole class on it, and it is used to study the randomness in, of the occurrence of an event. So here's a few key terms. Population. We're always going to be referring to the population in this class. It is the entire group or collection we wish to study. So if we wish to some, study some factor about Sierra College students, say their average height or their average age, then the entire student body of Sierra College, every single student who's enrolled, would be considered the population. From that population, we would usually collect a sample, and a sample is a subset of the population that we use to make inferences about that population. For example, again, if we wish to study some factor of Sierra College students, like average like height or proportion of students who use an uh, iPhone, then we would take a sample. So an example of a sample would be if we just look at one class of students, like our class. Our class of statistics students is a sample. Data is the word we're going to throw around a lot, and really it's just the result of sampling from a population. So it's the things that we write down and that we tabulate and work with. Two things to think about here. Why would you bother with a sample? Why not just take the whole population? Can you think of any reason why a sample might be required or beneficial? And what things might be important when collecting samples from population? Can we just go about sampling in any way that we choose? Is there anything we need to consider? So, you know, think about the Sierra College students example. Um, would there be a right way to sample from the Sierra College student body? Would there be a wrong way to sample from the Sierra College student body? Some more vocab here. This class is called statistics, but there actually is a definition for the word statistic. It is a number that represents a property of a sample. So that property could be a lot of things. It could be an average, it could be a proportion, um, it could be any sort of describing characteristic of the data, um, but it comes from the sample. The collected data is used to calculate a statistic. So once we, we collect that data, we calculate that statistic using that sample data. On the other hand, a parameter is basically the same thing, but it doesn't come from a sample, it comes from a population. So a parameter is a number that represents a property of the population. Let's see if we can determine whether each of the following are statistics or parameters. 71% of the instructors at Sierra College are men. Would that number 71%, so that's a proportion or a percentage, would that be considered a statistic or a parameter? It's going to be a parameter. The reason it's a parameter is because we are talking about the entire population of instructors at Sierra College, not just a sample of instructors. In a sample of Sierra College students, 92% of them receive some form of financial aid. Is this a parameter or a statistic? It's a statistic because it tells us in the question uh, or in the statement that we have a sample. Of 208 trains that arrive in a station, 73 of them arrive late. Is this a parameter or a statistic? This one we could argue because I, I'm leaning toward parameter because of we're going to assume that 208 is all of the trains that are that come into a station and 73 of those trains arrive late. Um, but if 208 happened to be a sample, then we would call this 73 out of 200. That would that fraction or that percentage 73 out of 208 would be then a statistic. But again, going with 208 being all of the trains that come into that station, I would say that this percentage or this proportion is a parameter. 
And finally, how about the average number of M&Ms in a bag is found to be 34. This is based off a sample of 10 bags. So pretty straightforward here. It's a statistic uh, because we have information given to us about it being a sample of 10 bags. And so in those 10 bags, um, we find that 34 is the average number of M&Ms in each of the bags. So the statistic here is an average and that average is 34. Fact, we will be using statistics to estimate parameters. So a lot of times we'll be able to take the sample, calculate the statistic, and then we'll use that statistic to make an assumption or an estimation about the larger population's corresponding parameter. So what is the average age of a Sierra College student? Well, instead of sampling all 16,000 plus students, we could take a small sample of maybe 100 students, calculate their average age, and say that that probably does a pretty good job of guesstimating what the population is age of Sierra College students actually is. So a uh, vocabulary word here, variable, it is the characteristic of interest for each item of the population. So we can break this down into two different types of variables, numerical and categorical. Numerical or quantitative variables, we're going to use this word quantitative referring to data in the future. So they do mean the same thing though, numerical and quantitative. These are variables that take on values that are measurable, such as weight, time, or distance. Whereas categorical, um, that name category here, tells you we're talking about quality, qualities or qualitative variables. These variables separate data into categories that cannot be measured using numbers. So here's an example. We can study the average height of students, right? Height would be the quantitative variable because height is something we can measure. And the data would consist of a list of student heights. We can study eye color of students. In this case, eye color is a qualitative variable. And the data would consist of counts for each eye color or just observations that there are students with blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, etc. So let's give it a putting all this information together. Let's give it a try. Determine the key terms in the following study. A study was conducted at a local college to analyze the average cumulative GPAs of students who graduated from that college just last year. So we're looking at the GPAs of students who graduated last year. Who is the population? So the population we're studying is all the students who graduated from that college last year. What is the parameter we want to know about that population? It is the average cumulative GPA of all students who graduated last year. So we're looking at the average GPA here. That is our parameter for all the students. That becomes a statistic once we take a sample. So the average cumulative GPA of students in the study who graduated last year from that college is the statistic. So it's just the ones who we sampled, who we took in our study. So the sample is that group of students who graduated last year from the college. Um, so maybe we didn't, we didn't take all of the students who graduated last year, we just took a, sam a sample. The variable, the thing that we're interested in studying here is the cumulative GPA of any random student. So we, that we can talk about any student's GPA, and that is the variable. Um, just any student who graduated last year. So again, that's our population. And the data would consist of a sample of uh, graduated students' GPAs. So someone had a GPA of 3.45, 2.98, uh, et cetera.